If your hunt is intercepted before it makes it to the law, does it still count towards the total? And if it does, is there a radius where this happens? This is a question I got from Antoz, and I was wondering the same thing. First, I created a map in the editor with different terrains in the circle around the law, and added a limited amount of hunt in the middle of the map so I could control where it came from. To start, we need to see how much hunt gets pulled in. The tooltip on extended edition says up to 1000 food. Let's check to make sure Vubly has the same balance. This map only has elks, which have 150 food each. So six elks is 900 food and it won't take any more. So it looks like that's accurate. I added a fire giant to one shot the elks at different distances from the lore to see what happened. If an elk was taken out in the close terrains around the law, it did count towards the food total, so we were given one less elk and the law stopped at 750 food. But it turned out this wasn't the case everywhere. The edge of this grass terrain is where taking out the elks started to not count towards the food total, so the law would still get the maximum food for this map, which is 900. Even though the hunt was pulled in, it didn't count as it must have been outside the maximum radius for the law. My estimate for the range is about one half to two thirds screen length or 30 to 40 range. But what about for herdables? After adding a goat to the map, this now gives just under 1000 food that can be collected by the law. 900 from the elks and one goat, which is roughly just under 100. Adding a second goat to the map and a scout for the enemy team. It seems that goats have a very similar range to the hunt. If they're stolen from far away, it doesn't count towards your lure total. So if your opponent's annoying scout steals goats outside your base, you should hopefully get another replacement if there's one available. It does seem like there is a radius around the lure and how it affects it, which was interesting. If you have any questions you'd like me to cover, then whack them in the comments below.